All right, hey you guys, it is Subaki Swag, and I'm coming to you with my review of Naruto Manga Chapter 691. Congratulations, this chapter. So, one thing that I did predict actually did come to pass, but I don't know, this chapter was so freaking sad, and I know when it gets animated, it'll probably make me cry again, because I did, I will admit, I did tear up at the very end of this chapter, because it was so freaking sad. But Naruto was awesome, I'll just say that right now. So, they're finally back. You see Madara, Madara's like laid out on the ground, he's about to die. So, Sasuke, there is something up with Sasuke. I want to know what's going on, I want to know what his real intense intentions are for coming back to the Leaf Village and not destroying it. So I want to see how things play out. Because even in this new episode that came out, Sasuke has shown that there is something off about his intentions so they're back and everybody gets to finally meet um Hagoromo or the stage of six past because I mean Sasuke and Naruto already know who they are but Kakashi and Hinata get to meet them I mean Hinata Kakashi and Sakura get to see him now, so they finally get to see who the Sage of Six Pass is, which is like the creator of all ninjutsu, or um, ninju, so they're talking to him and then he tells them that he's about to like send everybody home, and he talks to Kakashi, like he says Kakashi did a good job like leaving them even though he was lost himself and he was a good friend to Obito and everything like that, so he asked if Obito was still there, and then Kakashi and Obito have a little moment where they're talking, and Obito was like, he has, he's about to go be with Ren, and he asked him if he had a reason, like, if he came up for an excuse for why he was late, and Obito was like, he already told Ren that he came to save Kakashi's ass, and all this kind of stuff, so Kakashi and Obito finally had their moment ending as friends and not as enemies, which is pretty awesome. So Kakashi, like, he comes back from his outer body experience and he loses his Sharon gun. So Kakashi has a Sharon gun, is no more. Which is kind of sad, but Kakashi is still pretty fucking awesome. I mean, he was awesome before he got his Sharon gun. So now all the people who felt some type of way about Kakashi having a perfect Susano won't have to worry anymore because Kakashi no longer has the Sharon guns. <clears throat> so. Kakashi and Obito finally had their last moment after they've had several, several moments. So, Kakashi and Obito are finally finished in their endeavors. And now they show, like, the way Sasuke looked at Madara leads me to believe that Sasuke feels some, there, there's something there with Sasuke's intentions, which is why I said that. But Madara and Hashirama finally, 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 after all these years and years, finally have some closure, which was what I was hoping for, because Madara is literally like on his deathbed and he's about to die. So Hashirama talks to Madara, and Madara was pretty much like, if I had a, done things the way you did it, maybe things would have been different. And they finally ended, finally after all this time, they finally ended on good terms and Madara admitted that maybe the way he did things was not right and maybe if he had done things the way Hashirama said they should have, then everything would have been different, so I thought that was pretty awesome. Finally, after all this time, Madara became a good guy and if Madara had have become like a good guy before all this stuff even happened, then Maybe thing, everything would have been different. Nothing that has happened up to this point would have happened if it hadn't been for Madara, which kind of sucks if you think about it. So everything that happened up to this point, like Kushina and Minato would still be alive. Everybody, Toby, well, Toby would have never been. Obito would probably still be alive. Ren would probably still be alive. The war never would have started. Naruto would have never got Kurama and just everything, everything bad that has happened in this whole series wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for Madara. All the Uchihas would still be alive, Itachi wouldn't have been bad, just everything, everything that has happened, except for maybe like Orochimaru being evil, all this stuff never would have happened if it hadn't been for Madara, so 
I mean, if Madara had actually been a good guy, things probably would have been smooth sailing. Madara probably would have even become the Hokage if he hadn't been the way he was. So things would have been very different if it hadn't been for Madara. But the fact that he realizes this makes it better. Well, it makes it a little bit better. So Madara dies, or it looks like he died, and Sage Six Pass is about to send everybody who is still Ido Sensei back to where they're supposed to be. And Naruto realizes this and he dashes to Minato and Minato tells Naruto happy birthday. And it was just like, oh, I was so touched. Cause like now, like today is still, te still technically Naruto's birthday. So Naruto's 17 now and Minato was like, Minato told him happy birthday. And Naruto, this is why I said Naruto is pretty, like just fucking awesome. Cause Naruto remembered Back, back, back when, when Kurama, when he was um, fighting Kurama and Naruto had that long talk with his mom and his mom, like he had the flashback of like what happened and Kushina was telling Naruto all these things when he was a baby, like what not to do and how to do things and all this kind of stuff. Everything that she told him, he remembered and he told Minato to tell like she literally everything that she said he gave an answer to and he told Renato to tell Kushina not to worry about him and it was just oh, it was so sad that was the part that actually made me cry because I remembered that part in the, in the episode and the manga and both made me cry so it was just like it was just so fucking awesome Naruto literally remembered everything that Kushina ever told him and he was able to give her an answer to everything that she told him. And it, it was just, it was so sad. It's making me cry again. But you literally have no soul. If that didn't touch you a little bit, if you remember, like that whole conversation. So after that, Monado, he was like, got it. I'll tell her everything. And that was the end of the chapter. I was just like, oh, that was so sad. But this chapter was pretty fucking awesome. They made up for last chapter ending so abruptly. So, yeah, this chapter was awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing how things turn out. I still think that Sage Six Pass has some ulterior motives. So, as always, please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. I would love to hear how you guys felt about this chapter. How do you think things ended? Like, how do you feel about how the way things ended? And how do you feel about Sasuke? Do you think that he still has some ulterior motives? But this is Tsubaki Swag saying adios.